Hey guys, and welcome back to Coffee and EdTech Break. I hope everybody's well. We're sorry we couldn't get to you last week with an episode. We were snowed under with a couple of big webinars that we did for some of our partners. Today we're back with a fantastic episode. And what we're going to talk about is my view board and its Google Classroom element. We're also very lucky to be joined by Manuel Edgehill, who is Head of Partnerships at ViewSonic, who can talk us through why it's so important to have these partnerships. Grab yourselves your coffee, take that little break, sit back and enjoy. Good morning, good afternoon, not sure. What time is it that you're on there? Good afternoon. It is five, almost 5.30 p.m. here in Taipei. How are you? I'm very Louis, well, Nice thank to you. see you. Thank you very much, Manuel. Thank you so much for coming on and joining us. Really, really appreciate you taking the time out, especially no given the time differences and whatnot. Um, it's all right. I'm still drinking coffee, so it counts. Fantastic. Me too. Good to see we're on the same page with that. And on brand, of course. And of course, you've got your views on <laughs> branding as well. Um, excellent. It's on a go. Brill, can you just start by just giving us a little bit of an overview? Because obviously, I know you very well. I know you the importance of the company. But for the viewers, can you just give us an overview of... Oh. Of, of sort of who you are, what your role is in the company. Well, I'm uh, based out of the Taipei office, so this is I'm actually in my office right now. Yeah, There's people can, testing can software in the on. back. <laughs> so um, I handle uh, I, I partnerships for the company as far as strategic partnerships, and now I am the global software program manager for the MyViewBoard ecosystem. So that's what I'm up to, and I'm based out of Taipei because. Just right there next to me is where all the software is being developed. So you are really so, where the magic happens. That's right. It's, that's right. It's like so we have a land for tech, really, where you are. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we have creative art and funky stuff all over the place. Here, I got some. Sure. Next so, to me, I have some oh, wow. skateboards up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. So you mentioned that you're head of, well, one of your roles is, is head of partnerships. So obviously, ViewSonic, we're partnered with Google, Microsoft, we're Intel, MRS, we're market ready. We have some massive partnerships. What is the importance mm -hmm. of having partnerships? Why don't we just sort of run it alone? Why do we, you know... Oh, together is better. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, one of the reasons why we have partnerships is we get access to early tech. So, uh, for example, for Google or Intel, uh, we will have roadmap discussions to figure out how we can implement some of their tech and vice versa, how they can implement some of our tech. And then we jointly develop something very unique or cool. Uh, for example, with Google, um, we've been partners for about two years as a Google uh, certified, uh, Google education certified solution. Um, we integrated their APIs into our classroom software. Um, so you could easily download or upload into your Google Drive. You use single sign-on, which is much more secure. Mm -hmm. You can manage your students that way. You can manage your classroom with our classroom software and directly post into our um, into the Google Classroom solution as well. So they can both talk to each other. So it's uh, things like that. that these are important. So if we were not partners, then we couldn't do things like yeah. that. It's good you mentioned because actually on today's episode, we're going to look a little bit more closely at the My Classroom, uh, My Google Classroom con component. So what we're going to oh, do nice. is, is talk Perfect. about what you've just mentioned. So the ability to, to have a lessons in, in My Viewboard Classroom, open them obviously within the digital whiteboard for My Viewboard and vice versa, save things back and forward into Google Streams and that kind of stuff. Um, yep. Do you think it's really important for end users, for people who are going to use it, that there is this Google element as well to, me, to, to my view? Do you think that gives us kind of more uh, kind of credence, the fact that we can and have it, have it sort of partnered with a Google? Oh, well, sure. Oh, of course. Validation is always great, especially from a third party. So if Google and Microsoft or Intel or any of the other partners are willing to work with us, it's obviously because we have reached a certain level of credibility and trustworthiness among themselves to, you know, help out and, uh, and do something cool together. Excellent. So it's they clearly, should definitely help. Yeah, so it's clearly very important to have um, this, this solution and this partnership on board with us, really, as, as, as all of the partnerships cool. that we've got. So in the sure. background, you've got all the, the guys working on this, basically. Yeah, we're testing, we actually, uh, our device management, I think, behind me. There we go. Oh, wicked. Okay. <laughs> so all the magic's the happening room? behind you. Right. Um, and, uh, for example, my viewboard clips. The guy here is right there behind me. Oh, Vincent. Say hi to Louis. Hi, 
Hey, Vincent, how's hey, it going? Hey, what's up, man? Good, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Okay. So see, I can't hear him. But... It's all right. He says hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all he says. So everybody's here orbiting. So I, if, whenever I need anybody, I can just reach out and talk to them. And that's then, great. you With know, you. make things happen very quick. I'm a bit jealous that you guys are sort of back in the office. We're obviously, I've, we've been right. for 10, 11 weeks now. So this is my living room, office, gym, everything. So, oh, it's, it's yeah, Taiwan, I mean, we're, we're very lucky to be living in Taiwan. Taiwan has has not had a COVID-19 case for over 55 years internally transmitted. So we only had work from home for one week and then wow. everything is normal here. Incredible. Normal. <laughs> Incredible. Well, thanks again, well, best of luck to you. Yeah, I really appreciate you taking the time. Obviously, you guys are busy um, working on some incredible stuff for the company. So I'll leave you to it. Sure. And uh, thanks again, and we'll have you back, I'm sure. For Anytime. Episode. I'm ready when you are. Thanks. We again, have a lot well. to talk about. Much appreciated. Take care, mate. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So once we've logged into Google Classroom, what we're going to do is select the class that we wish to teach. Once I've clicked on that, we can go to the classwork that we've set. As you can see, you can click create to add some documents, assignments, quizzes, etc. for pupils to answer. In this particular scenario, to start the Greek mythology topic, what I've done is I've linked a video for pupils to watch to get them familiar with the topic. And secondly, I've added a worksheet in which they're going to use today. They're going to fill it out themselves to start with. And then thirdly, we're going to use my view board to do the creative elements of the task. OK, so once we're in my view board, digital whiteboard, what we can actually do is we can design our lesson. So as you can see, I've actually imported a Google Doc here to design our Greek God. So what we've done is we've drawn whatever it is that we need to draw and we've described and whatever. Um, but then what we can actually do is we can save it to the Google Classroom stream. So if I go up to save here, I can save it to my Google Drive. Likewise, I can save it to the Google Classroom stream. So, for example, we're going to save this as our Greek God lesson template. And then we're going to post that to our classroom that is linked within the Google Classroom. So once that's posted, we can then go over to the Google Classroom and that should appear in our teacher stream. So so now, as you can see, as soon as I've saved that in my Viewboard Digital whiteboard, what I can actually do is I can go back over to my Google Classroom, my class that I've selected and saved that under. And as you can see, if I go to the stream, so the class stream of things that have been saved and scroll down, what I've done there is I've actually posted the update here. So what that is is a link as well. So the students who I've invited to the class, so the students who are in my class, can actually now click that link and join my classroom to take part in the live part of the lesson that will come next. OK, so using the link that we just talked about on our stream, we've now had students able to log in. So we've got Kevin Cheng and Matthew Smith who've logged into our lesson. So as you can see, this is my teacher view. But what I can actually do is I can create it so that I have different canvases for different students. So, for example, for Matt, he has a slightly different piece of work than the work that I've set for Kevin. So if I just go back to my teacher view, what I can actually do is I can go to something here called a huddle. So if I click on the huddle, what I can actually do is I can split Matt into group one and I can split Kevin into group two by having these two different huddles. What that means is they each see their own personal screen. When I click this toggle button here, what that will do is that will show each huddle to those individual students. So what I'm going to ask now is that both students can have a go at drawing their Greek god. OK, so once I've given the students some time to actually formulate that picture and to get on with the task that I've set, I can obviously stop the task and then have a look at what each individual student has produced. So if I click over to Huddle 2, where we had Kevin, Kevin's done quite a nice little drawing using the My Viewboard tool set that he can control from his end. So he's drawn a Greek god with a pitchfork with three legs. So that's a pretty good effort for what we've set within the time. So let's go over to Huddle 1, see what Matthew's produced. And it looks like Matthew's managed to produce a cello and a, uh, a son. So it, as well as being able to use the pen, you can actually import pictures from the student end as well. So whilst that's not actually um, fulfilling the task purpose, he's actually been quite creative with the tools at his disposable there. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We'll be back next week. As always, uh, Tuesday, 16th of June at 2 p.m. Hopefully that gave you a really nice overview of some of the power that we can gain from utilizing my viewboard 
with Google Classroom. Obviously, that's just a small element of what we can do with Google, and there's a lot more of that to come in future episodes. Keep safe, keep well, and look forward to seeing you guys next week.